You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. Let's begin the show with the land of festivities, Manipur, where merriment and mirth making go on around the year. Yoshang is one of the most important festivals of Manipur that combines both Hindu and indigenous traditions. Recently, it was celebrated with immense fervor across the state. The state of Manipur got soaked in the festive spirit of joy as it celebrated its most awaited festival of Yaoshang, the five-day extravaganza that marks the onset of spring. On the first day of the festival, a small hut, also known as Yaoshang, is constructed with bamboos and straws. Inside it, the idol of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the founder of Gauda Vaishnavism, is kept. The devotees keep a number of sweets and candles in front of the hut. As the sun sets, a ritualistic arti is performed and after the sweets are distributed among the devotees, the hut which is regarded as the symbol of good over evil is burnt. As part of the festival, young boys and girls dressed in traditional attire go from door to door for monetary donations or nakatang. They take special delight in this activity and the money collected is spent on merrymaking. Music concerts are also organized at various places to celebrate the festival. On the second day, groups of local bands travel to the city's Govindji temple while singing devotional hymns accompanied by musical instruments such as dhokals, cymbals and seashells. They converge at the temple to celebrate Pichkari Numit or Pichkari Day. Pichkari is a water gun commonly used to squirt coloured water during the festival. After offering special prayers at the temple and performing all the religious rituals, devotees drench each other in coloured powders and water, just like the holy festival is celebrated across the country. It's beautiful to experience holy like this, such colourful and so rooted to the culture, women all beautifully dressed up and you know giving all importance to the flowers and the colors around so it's beautiful to see men and women enjoying holy year in the temple the five day sports festival held in every nook and corner of the state is another important aspect of yaoshang celebration many games motivate the young ones to participate in various sports activities This is the most remarkable difference between the Holi festival in Manipur and other parts of the country. The primary idea behind Yaoshang sports meet is to allow the energetic youth of the state, which is already known as the powerhouse of sports in the country, to hone their skills in different sports. So basically, our uh, locality, 
Brahmapur Nahabam has got of uh, has got a lot of uh, athletes over here, starting from uh, archery, basketball, football, you know, wushu. There are many athletes over here, and this is like a you know a junction over where all those players meet, uh, and you know, it's al always you know one of the best uh, place in Manipur together for sports. So the Akshang Sports Festival over here is a grand, and everyone in the Manip in Manipur knows that you know this place is uh, the you know hub for Akshang Festival. In modern times, there has been a trend of channeling the festive energy towards sporting event to spot out talent at the grassroots level and Yaoshang festival is a great example of it. And now we will take you to Kalburgi district of Karnataka where scores of devotees from different castes and backgrounds conglomerated together to celebrate the grand Sharan Basveshwar car festival. Take a look. India is home to a number of religions, castes, creeds and ethnicities that reside peacefully on this harmonious land. It is quite common to see people of different religious communities collectively celebrating festivals and occasions all around the country. A similar example was seen recently in Kalburgi district of Karnataka where the grand Sharan Baseshwar Ka festival was attended by thousands of devotees from different religions and communities. The Sharan Baseshwar Yatra is an annual car festival that commemorates the death anniversary of the 18th century scholar and saint Sharan Baseshwar. After two years of the pandemic, the festival was celebrated at such a grand level. Scores of devotees of all religious communities from bordering states of Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh and more attended the grand event. Devotees keep a fast and offer prayers to mark the occasion. It was a long gap. It was two years. People were not uh, able to participate in the Jatra Motsava. So this year it was like a Utsava for everyone. So lakhs of people have gathered together for all the days and took the blessings of Lord Shanvashwara. We can observe one thing very, uh, here that people belonging to all the religions come here and take the blessings. We feel very happy that we all are united and we all are taking the blessings of Lord Shanvashwara. It is believed that the saint had foreseen his death and passed away five days after Holi. Ahead of the festival, the Sharan Baseshwar Shrine, which is located in the heart of the city, was decorated with colourful lights. Now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Thousands of devotees gathered at a temple in India's northern Mathura city to mark Huranga as part of holy celebrations where women tear men's clothes to beat them as a part of the local tradition. Today, at a closely packed Dauji Maharaj temple, devotees drenched in colors mark the kapda fad or tearing clothes holy amid folk songs and celebrations. The focus of celebrations is on Balram, the elder brother of Hindu god Krishna. The legend has it on that day Krishna played holy with Balram's wife. Forest officials released 150 turtle hatchlings into the sea in India's southern port town of Rameshwaram. School children who had been brought to learn about turtle conservation watched as the young sea turtles were released on Dhanushkodi beach. The turtle eggs which hatched after 52 days had been monitored closely by the Mandapam Forest Department at a hatchery in Mukandarayar, Chatiram. 
Turtles come to the beach on the tip of Pamban Island every year between December to March to lay their eggs. According to the World Wildlife Fund for Nature, sea turtles have been around for over 100 million years. Bollywood celebrities including actor Ajay Devgan and actress Rakul Preet Singh launched the trailer of their upcoming thriller film Runway 34 in Mumbai. It's a thriller. Uh आपको पिक्चर के लास्ट सीन तक पता नहीं चलेगा कि क्या हुआ था कैसे हुआ था और क्यों हुआ था अगर ये पता चल जाएगा कि क्या हुआ था तो क्यों हुआ था ये एंड तक पता नहीं चलता तो दैट्स दैट्स द यूएसपी ऑफ द फिल्म एंड उसमें जो कॉन्फ्लिक्ट है उनका और हमारा उनका अपना पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू है मेरा अपना पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू है तो तो दैट that that has come out very interestingly and uh, i really that's that's why i uh, i wanted to make this film because uh, that's that's the main story of the film the film also stars bollywood mega star amitabh bachchan actress akanksha singh and angira dhar and is inspired by the true event of the jet airways flight from doha to india's southern kochi city that had a narrow escape on august 18 2015 after facing difficulties to land at the Kochi airport due to bad weather and low visibility directed by Devgan himself the movie is set to release in theaters on April 29 2022 said to be a land of peaceful coexistence and harmonious multi societal framework India leaves the entire world awestruck with its ability to home to a wide variety of cultures and ethnicities. Recently, when the country was dipped in holy festivities, examples of this peaceful coexistence were easily spotted in different nooks and corners of the country. One such city is Aligarh, where Hindus and Muslims collectively celebrated the Hindu festival together. Holi is among the most popular festivals in India. Celebrated with great zeal in the northern region of the country, the festival involves smearing colors on each other. On this day, individuals forget their differences and reunite with each other. Though Holi is said to be Hindu festival, people of all religious communities take part in Holi celebrations. In Aligarh city of Uttar Pradesh, people of both Hindu and Muslim communities celebrated the festival together as a symbol of communal bond shared between the two communities. यहाँ पे सभी धर्मों के लोग आ रहे हैं आपस में गले मिल रहे हैं और अपने गले शिकवे दूर कर रहे हैं और होली मिलन का ये कार्यक्रम सुचारू रूप से चल रहा है ये मैसेज देता है कि अलीगढ़ एक भाईचारे का शहर है प्रेम का शहर है सौहार्द का शहर है और यहाँ पर हिंदू और मुसलमान सभी लोग होली के अवसर पर आकर एक दूसरे से गले मिल रहे हैं मुबारकबाद दे रहे हैं और सभी एक दूसरे को बधाइयाँ दे रहे हैं Aligarh is often seen as an epitome of religious unity due to the harmony that exists in its multi-faith society. After 2 years of the pandemic, citizens of both Hindus and Muslim communities gathered at Numaish ground at the Holi Milan Samaro to celebrate the festival. Individuals of both the communities marked the occasion by giving hugs to each other and collectively performing the holy prayers as a symbol of brotherhood among them. यहां होली मिलन का कार्यक्रम है और यहां पर सब हिंदू मुसलमान यहां पर होली मिलन में आते हैं और गले मिलते हैं और एक ताकत पे जो वो पैगाम देते हैं भाईचारे का पैगाम कैसा लगा आपको मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा किन-किन लोगों से मिले मैं सब लोगों से उड़ान वालों से भी मिला हूं और जितने हिंदू भाइयों से ही मिलने आए हम तो कैसा लग रहा है बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है वो भी हमें प्यार करते हैं हम उनको प्यार करते हैं पूरे विश्व में कोरोना जो समय चल रहा था और आज दो साल बाद हम सभी धर्मों के मिलकर आज होली मिलन समारोह निवास ग्रांड अलीगढ़ में मना रहे हैं जिसमें सभी धर्मों के लोग एक दूसरे को गले मिलकर बधाई देते हैं और एवं शुभकामनाएं देते हैं कैसा माहौल है माहौल एकदम सही है सर बिल्कुल यहाँ पे सभी समुदाय के लोग चाहे कोई भी स्वार्थ भी सही है सर बिल्कुल कोई 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 परेशानी नहीं है Locals praise the efforts of authorities for organizing events like these which give a chance to individuals to celebrate all festivals together and strengthen the bond of harmony amongst them. The house sparrow is one of the first birds that most of us recall from our childhood days. 
they used to reside in colonies in nearly every house in the neighborhood as well as public locations. Unfortunately, these birds are fast becoming extinct and their populations are rapidly declining. To raise awareness and protect the sparrows, Indian conservationists reunited to bring a ray of hope for these tiny little birds. Take a look. Sparrows are considered as one of the most widespread commonly seen wild birds in the world. These tiny little birds have a great importance in the ecosystem, controlling pests which are beneficial for farmers. However, the population of sparrows have been on the decline in India and across the world. To raise awareness and protect house sparrows, every year on March 20, World Sparrow Day is observed. Observing this day, a group of volunteers led by Gaurav Bajpay installed wooden nests across Kanpur to save these birds. Gauriya, because they were made in old houses, in old houses, in old houses, in old houses, वो सब व्यवस्थाएं खत्म होती जा रही थीं तो गौरैया बड़े खतरनाक स्थान पर घोंसले बनाने लग गई जहां पर उनके बच्चे गिरकर मरने लगे हमें उन बच्चों को गिरके मरने से बचाना था इसलिए हमने इन बॉक्सेस का निर्माण किया Experts say there is a need to spread awareness on the conservation of sparrows due to increased pollution, global warming and vanishing ecological resources. Bajpay had started the campaign Sweet Sparrow Come Back Home in the year 2014, under which 7,500 wooden nests have been installed so far in the city. We have been in the past 7,000 years. और मैं पर्सनली चार से पाँच सौ घोसले कानपुर में कानपुर के बाहर इवन एक केरला में भी मैंने दिया हुआ है झांसी उरई ये सारी जगहों पे लगा है मैंने अपने घर में पंद्रह घोसले लगा रखे हैं अब जब मैं वहाँ पे गया था 2017 में तो तीन से चार गौरे या पाँच गौरे ऐसे दिखती थी आज वहाँ झुंड के झुंड दिखती हैं वर्ल्ड स्पैरो डे इज एन इनिशियटिव बाई द नेचर फॉर एवर सोसाइटी ऑफ इंडिया अलॉन्ग विद इकोसिस एक्शन फाउंडेशन and other national and international organizations to raise awareness about the bird. The theme for this year was monitor the sparrows and other common birds. And in the end, we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. The Spanish city of Valencia set alight giant sculptures made of paper marsh on during the finale of the Falas festival. The focus of the festival is the creation and destruction of giant ninods, puppets or dolls. Lalas Falas translates as the fires in Valencian lingo. The festival welcomes spring and commemorates St. Joseph's Day in Valencia, Spain and is always held in March. The colossal statues called Ninots, which are made of wood or paper marsh, depict satirical versions of well-known public figures. By tradition, one of the Ninots is always spared the flames and this year it was Fantastica, an installation based on fantasy films like Harry Potter and Alice in Wonderland. The celebration is thought to have originated from pagan festivals celebrating the end of winter and is also considered homage to Saint Joseph, the patron saint of carpenters, builders of the sculptures. Guatemala's National Archaeological Park, Tag Alik Ab Arch, is home to artifacts and ruins that unveil the transition period between the Olmec culture and the beginning of Mayan era. Takalikabaj is a lugar sagrado que tiene vínculos muy importantes con la cultura viva actualmente en Guatemala. Es un recinto que alberga no solo un tema de biodiversidad en torno a la fauna, en torno a la flora, sino también en torno a las manifestaciones de la espiritualidad y la cosmovisión maya que hacen que sea un lugar muy importante dentro de la cultura maya en Guatemala. The site also displays early Mayan architecture and their handling of rainwater, said the park's research director, Krista Schaber. In 2008, archaeologists found a series of sculptures discovered in 2008 at Takalik Abaj that they believe provoked the evolution from the Omlek civilization into the Mayan civilization. 
The Olmec civilization, a Central American culture, existed between 1200 and 400 BC, with its heartland in the Mexican states of Veracruz and in Topasco, where La Venta, which is one of the greatest Olmec sites, is located. The Mayans from 400 to 980 built soaring temples and elaborate palaces in Central America and southern Mexico before mysteriously abandoning their cities. Thousands of people gathered along Washington's Tidal Basin to take in the sights of the city's famed cherry blossom trees in peak bloom. The pale pink and white blossoms frame the pathways surrounding the city's iconic monuments. The peak of the cherry blossoms is defined as a point when 70% of the blossoms around the Tidal Basin are open according to the National Park Service. The beloved trees were given as a friendship gift from Japan in 1912. The annual Cherry Blossom Festival commemorates the enduring gift of nearly 3,000 trees and celebrates the relationship the two countries share. World number one Ash Party has decided to retire from professional tennis at the age of 25 and at the peak of her game, citing the fulfillment of her tennis goals and fatigue with life on the tour. She retires with 15 titles less than two months after winning the Australian Open, her third Grand Slam singles triumph following the 2021 Wimbledon and 2019 French Open. She spent a total of 121 weeks as world number one. It marks the party's second retirement from the sport, having walked away from the game as a teenager in the late 2014 after becoming disaffected by the tour. She returned in 2016 and rose rapidly up the rankings. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at anin.com. I'm your host Uzma Jafri and it's goodbye from the entire production team. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.